Welcome to day one. We are taking this boat down to Key West from Chicago, Illinois. Our first goal today is to go from Chicago to around the like Ottawa, LaSalle, Peru area on the Illinois River. So we're gonna head down Lake Michigan into the Calumet River. We have a couple of locks to go through. We do have a bridge that we have to go under and we're going to have to take this arch down partially. 7 a.m., uh, we've got a nearly full moon. Sun is coming up and uh, the weather forecast looks good. So the boat that I'm used to is a 1988. The radar never worked when we got it. Uh, the trim tabs don't work. Um, the depth finder works. Uh, I've never used one of these Garmin's before. Uh, there's a whole lot of stuff here that I don't know. So I've been going through and trying to figure out uh, with my buddy, who knows what this stuff is, uh, how to make everything work, because we want to make sure that everything works. So we are now pumped out. We have a full tank of fresh water and uh, well, like three quarters of a tank of diesel. And uh, now we're on our way. We are maybe five miles out and the uh, port engine is gone now. It started losing power and uh, we shut it down right away. Uh, Tom is going down to take a look and see what's going on, see if you can see anything obvious down there. You know, we tried to restart it a couple of times and uh, no, no luck. So here we are, uh, we're still continuing. Uh, with our starboard engine going, uh, just at a slower RPM. Uh, we're still continuing toward Hammond, Indiana. Uh, feel like we're just a little bit closer to Hammond than we are to 31st, so we're gonna try to go over to, to Hammond if we uh, don't get this engine back running. It's ridiculous, this, uh, this engine has just been rebuilt. Caterpillar was out here uh, replacing injectors the other day because they had put the wrong injectors in for some reason. They even had a bulletin saying never to use those injectors in these engines. Don't know what's going on yet. All right, the man from Cat is here. He's got the computer hooked up, and uh, we will not show his face because <laughs> we don't want to incriminate the innocent, uh, but uh, we're going to see what's going on. No error codes. Starboard engine has a couple error codes, but they're older ones. Um, no error codes on the port engine. So as we were going along, the port engine started coming down. Uh, the RPM started coming down. Then we shut it down, and we can't get it to start back up again. It'll crank, but it won't start. So the cat technician is here. He's saying that there are no error codes on that engine. So we're now looking at fuel. Well, we've got water separators that don't show any water. Uh, the filters are brand new. Fuel filters on there are brand new. So we're not exactly sure where we are at this point. Okay, here's the latest update. We believe it must be a fuel issue. So what we're noticing is the fuel injectors, which are brand new in that motor, they were put in two days ago. They are not getting enough pressure to open. So they're supposed to have something like 2,400 PSI and they're not getting it. They're getting something like 200. So they're getting like a 10th of the pressure that they're supposed to get. The mechanic is down there trying to trying to figure out why it's not getting that pressure. The fuel system seems to be pressurized. So we don't know why there's no pressure going in. He thought it was maybe a bad O-ring or something that was stopping fuel uh, from getting through to the injectors or stopping the pressure, or, but not sure yet. And uh, if anything, that is the Hammond Casino right there. So we have food and we have entertainment. 
Oh, I want to show you guys something. So this is a sailboat that is a, it's a twin mast sailboat. What an amazing boat. Uh, we were down in Hammond earlier this summer and we met these guys, a young couple, and they are living aboard this boat. In fact, on Saturday, they are taking this boat to Mobile and they're going to spend the winter down there, uh, maybe a little bit longer. But uh, what a beautiful boat. They have shipped the masts down ahead of them so that they don't have to worry about the masts on board and they're just gonna motor the whole way. So we are not the only ones who are living aboard in Chicago, as you can tell. Obviously, there are some other people at River City, but uh, these guys are doing it here in Hammond and uh, headed down to Mobile. <laughs> it's, I mean, when this boat was first picked up, uh, it made it about 10 miles and it stopped working and had like a major overheat. The motor has been reworked, a bunch of new parts, new sensors, a bunch of new stuff. But the problem is they put the wrong injectors in. On Wednesday, they put the new injectors in and for some reason they decided instead of using one O-ring to seat the injector, they used two. So what happened is the second O-ring came out and caused oil leak, oil pressure, issue the injectors couldn't fire because there wasn't enough oil pressure but supposedly they have these o-rings in stock at the local cat uh, parks department so we're hopefully going to get those o-rings very shortly what is this 14 miles <laughs> from where we started uh, so not the best first day So, <clears throat> O-rings, right? We're waiting for new O-rings. The owner of the boat, being a nice guy, decided to go out and get us some lunch. Got some uh, uh, Louisiana-style fried chicken. Uh, I ate a wing. Immediately didn't feel very good. And uh, it all came back out again. <coughs> Hasn't been the best day. <laughs> Hasn't been the best day. Uh, not really sure what that was all about, but hopefully that was the end of it. Two cylinders had fuel injectors that had two O-rings instead of one. These guys figured it out, replaced the bad O-rings, and uh, she runs. It's that simple. Two extra pieces of tiny little rubber. All right, slow it down, hang on. Oh, oh, oh stop, 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 stop. <laughs> 